Hey guys, welcome to this session by Intellipart. In this session, we are going to look into the top 10 future technologies. Technology gets better every single year in every single aspect. So now, with the future technologies coming into play, the way we see the world will completely change. So in this session, we are going to look into the top 10 technologies which are changing the world right now and also some of them would be technologies which are going to come in the future and again change the way we look at the world. And before moving on with the session, please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our upcoming videos and also leave a like if you enjoy our content. Now, without any further delays, let's begin with the session. Hyperloop The Hyperloop is a proposed mode of transportation for passenger and also freight. So this was released in 1904 by Robert Goodhart and it was basically a vac train model or a vacuum train model. Then this design was taken by the Tesla and a SpaceX joint team under Elon Musk and they've released the plans publicly in the year 2012. So now it has a lot of disadvantages as well as a lot of advantages if it comes into play. First you would need end-to-end -end construction and a lot of capital put into, only then this would be a reality. But once it is completely done, it would be faster than an aircraft to travel from point A to point B. But there are a lot of factors to consider before this becomes a reality. Self-driving cars Self-driving cars or also known as autonomous vehicle or driverless cars are currently in play as well as they are also considered a future technology. Why? Because right now Tesla is the only company which has successfully done it but it also has a lot of problems. So basically self-driving cars are the ones which can sense the environment around it and basically function without little to no human contact. So now when self-driving cars comes into play and they are implemented perfectly, there are a lot of advantages. Harmful emissions will be reduced, traffic jams will be reduced, the travel time for average person will also decrease. So when it's perfectly implemented, there are a lot of advantages, but again, there is a lot of work ahead for self-driving cars and it would be the best future technology if it comes into play. Neuralink it is an ultra high bandwidth machine which is connected to a human and the computers. So basically it is connected to the brain part of the human. So now if you are looking into Neuralink, it is a company which is basically one of the famous companies in this particular domain. That's why I've taken them as an example. So the main motive of this particular project is to cure neurological diseases like Alzheimer's, dementia and also insomnia. But this is not the only purpose, there are also other purposes like you can connect to your electronic devices like streaming services, smart homes and also security systems just using the machine in your brain. Also, it can help us and it can help the scientists and researchers to understand more about the brain because we don't know a lot about it right now. Space Tourism Space Tourism is a human space activity for recreational purposes. So there are multiple types of space tourism. One is orbital and then suborbital and also lunar. To date, orbital is the only type of space tourism ever to happen and it is done by the Russian Space Agency. So now, for space tourism to become mainstream, they need to make cheaper rockets so that they could send a lot of people to space for recreational purposes. So the major talking points for space tourism is the economic growth and also a lot of reusable rockets getting made and the faster production of rockets. One more talking point is that the space agencies will get more funding and they could explore the space even better. So these are the talking points for space tourism and I'm pretty sure it would be available very, very soon. Computer vision. Computer vision is an interdisciplinary scientific field which looks into how computers can gain a high level understanding from digital images and video. So now from an engineering perspective, computer vision is basically aiming to do or emulate or automate what a human eye can already do. But computers can make visual checks faster than human eyes and as they never get tired, there will never be any fluctuations in the performance. So now computer vision can be used in various industries ranging from banking, retail, as well as to the medical industry where it is really important. Cognitive Computing 
Cognitive computing technology integrates with various aspects of artificial intelligence such as ML, DL, NLP, speech recognition and also sentimental analysis to improve human decision making. To put it simply, cognitive computing tries to simulate the human thought process under a complex situation where there are no specific answers. The advantages of com cognitive computing follows. First, you will get an improved customer interaction and also accurate data analysis as the thought process or the process which you are using to do that is made easy and also complex at the same time. Also, cognitive computing will help you in creating self-learning algorithms which changes the way we interact with computers. Edge computing. Edge computing is a distributed computing paradigm which basically brings computation and data storage closer to the location where it is needed, basically increasing the response time and also saving bandwidth. So the main advantage of a edge computing location would be that it could bring more speed and security. So first considering speed, the speed of the data transfer would be over the limit. So that basically means when there is a lot of speed, the data transfer could be done really easily and in a data centric world like right now, that could mean everything. And also you can basically target popular markets where you need to basically put your application with a lot of speed and also security. And finally, edge computing and edge locations are already being built by popular cloud providers like AWS and Azure. Soon this will be a global phenomenon. 3D printing. 3D printing or additive manufacturing is basically the process of creating a three-dimensional object from a 3D model. So now, 3D printing can be used for rapid manufacturing and also rapid prototyping. So the talk about 3D printing basically giving us 3D printed food or 3D printed organs or in the future, not right now because it is really expensive and the technology is not available right now. But if 3D printing which is existing right now made in an inexpensive and also the 3D printing made much faster, in that case it can be implemented into multiple manufacturing plants like automobile industry and that would increase the speed of production of cars or whichever automobile which you are putting 3D printing into. 5G 5G is the fifth generational mobile broadband beyond LTE long-term evolution or 4G. So 5G basically is a game changer when it comes to hand, it will improve our network connections where basically providing faster, stable and secure connections. And when 5G comes into play, it will provide high capacity and also ultra low latency that could basically bring AI and IoT an added advantage. It could make IoT devices even faster and also AI or artificial intelligence can be unleashed everywhere across the world. Also gaming could be made more immersive. But right now 5G is not available globally and when it is available globally that would change the world for providing a faster, stable and a really reliable connection. Artificial Intelligence Artificial Intelligence is the top trending technology in the year 2021 and it would be for a lot of years because artificial intelligence is basically the foundation for many of the technologies which we discussed in this particular session. AI includes ML, DL, NLP, neural networks and a lot of other technologies under it. So the main reason why it is so popular is because AI is everywhere. AI is in your mobile phones where you use assistants like Google Assistant or, or Siri. And also AI is in every single technology which you are looking into, for example, self-driving cars, your smart homes, your security systems. So every single technology needs AI and without it, it might fail or be very slow. So basically AI is the foundation and without AI, a lot of technologies won't exist. And that's why it is the number one technology which I'm talking about. And AI also needs a lot of improvement. And once it is at its highest potential, then a lot of technologies will get benefited. And this is the last technology we are going to discuss in this particular session. So that brings us to the end of the list and that is the top 10 future technologies. If you think any other technology should be in this particular list, leave it as a comment down below. And if you're looking for a trending technology as a course, IntelliPad provides training in most of the trending technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, and cloud computing. So you can check out those details in the description box below. 
Now, as we've come to the end of this session, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss our upcoming videos and also leave a like to this video if you enjoyed it. So thank you, meet you in another session.